Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I want to answer a question related to the temperature and the moon. We need to know this in case it would be canalized what to expect. First of all we need to know that on the moon there is no atmosphere like the one on the earth. There is no breathable air and there is no wind breeze but there is a very small layer of gas that is considered an exosphere. In this exosphere the gases are very scattered and rarely intersect. Because there is no strong atmosphere, the heat is not retained on the surface on the moon. To better understand, on the surface of the moon there are 100 molecules per cubic centimeter, while on the surface of the earth there are 100 billion billions of molecules per cubic centimeter. A few detectors left on the moon by Apollo astronomers have detected argon-40, helium-4, oxygen, methane, nitrogen, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide in this exosphere. Terrestrial spectrometers detected sodium and potassium while the lunar prospector orbiter found radioactive isotopes of radon and polonium. Radon is a dangerous gas, it causes death, causing lung cancer, is found in the soil, rocks and water on the ground. Traces of polonium can be found in soil and air uh, on the earth also. Leeches are those that have the ability to absorb the polonium directly from the atmosphere. Polonium is an important ingredient in the process of making the atomic bomb. It is extremely toxic uh, to humans, even in very small quantities. An interesting thing about polonium is that a 2011 study found that cigarettes companies know that their brands contain small amounts of polonium and that the radioactivity in the polonium found in cigarettes kills about 138 people in every 1000 smokers over a period of 25 years. My advice here in this case would be to just stop smoking, of course. The impact of sunlight, solar wind and micrometeorites hitting the surface of the moon can also uh, release gases that have been buried in the lunar soil. The comets that hit the moon could have left some water molecules on the surface. Some of the molecules then accumulated in dark polar craters, forming solid ice beds of which some scientists and engineers discuss the possibility of mining by future human explorers. When we talk about the temperature of the moon, we can say that there are some extremes. Due to the lack of strong atmosphere, there are great variations ranging from frost to the boiling point of the water. To better understand the phenomenon, it is uh, good to know that the moon rotates around its axis in uh, about 27 days. The day on one side of the moon is uh, 13 and a half days and it's followed by 13 and a half days uh, of uh, dark nights. During the day, the sun reaches the surface of the moon and the temperature can reach 127 degrees Celsius, that's 260 Fahrenheit. When it is dark and the surface of the moon is not touched by the sun, the temperature drops to minus 173 degrees Celsius, that is minus 280 Fahrenheit. The moon has a slope of 1.54 degrees on its own axis, while the earth has one of 23.44 degrees, which means that there are no seasons like the ones on the earth. But for this reason there are regions at the poles that never see the sunlight on the moon and these are therefore frozen. Ice was believed to exist in the craters of the moon and this was proved by NASA's radar that detected over 40 ice water craters on the north pole of the moon. It is estimated somewhere at 58 billion liters of water as being hidden among the craters of the moon. The inner core of the moon is made of iron and has a temperature of almost 1040 degrees Celsius. It hits an next layer of molten mantle, but it's not strong enough to warm the surface of the moon. I'm gonna tell you now some other curiosities about the moon and some strange facts. Uh, the moon is the brightest celestial body at night on Earth and it's because it is also the closest. It is as large as a quarter or about 27% of the Earth's size. The diameter of the moon is 3475 kilometers and the circumference of the equator is uh, 10900 kilometers. 
The total area of the moon is 38 million square kilometers, which means a smaller area than the total area of the Asian continent, which is 45.5 billion square kilometers. The weight of the moon is 81 times smaller than that of the Earth and in terms of density of the moon it is the second from the solar system after the moon of uh, Jupiter called Io. When the moon was first formed it was 20 times closer to the Earth and covered about half of the sky during the night and uh, because it had experienced many clashes with other bodies, the moon had volcanic eruptions, it was hot and in areas where it was cold it started the basal rock to be also formed. The moon also influences the tides through the mutual gravitational attraction exerted between the two bodies and therefore the oceans are attracted towards the moon. Besides the moon, it seems that the sun also creates tides of half of those created by the moon. Depending on the direction in which they draw water from the earth, the two bodies can create the strong tide or they can cancel each other out. There is also the effect of the red moon that happens when the moon is in the shade but the light from the sun passes through the earth's atmosphere. Uh, most of the colors are blocked but the red color uh, goes through the atmosphere and uh, gets to illuminate the moon. An interesting story is that of Christopher Columbus who arrived in Jamaica on 25th of June uh, 1503 where he receives uh, aid, uh, his crew after a few months rebels and robs and kills several uh, natives but Columbus has a calendar showing him uh, the lunar eclipse and he went to the chief of the tribe and told him that uh, his god was upset with them because they did not give them supplies anymore Seeing that the moon is uh, red, the natives uh, got scared and helped the Spanish crew again. Columbus tells them that his god has forgiven them and returns to his journey at sea after the crew had received the much-awaited supplies. This is the end of the clip so please give me a like, share and subscribe. I thank you for watching the whole video and I wish you a good day or a pleasant evening. Goodbye.